the director of national intelligence a top secret document including intelligence from all the intelligence community agencies given each morning to the president president george w bush strengthened the role of the dni on july 30th 2008 with executive order 13470 which among other things solidified the dni's authority to set goals for intelligence gathering and analysis to set policy for the sharing of intelligence with foreign agencies and the hiring and firing of senior intelligence officials the dni was given further responsibility for overall responsibility for intelligence community whistleblowing and source protection by president barack obama via presidential policy directive 19 on october 10 2012 under 50 usc section 3026 under ordinary circumstances it is desirable that either the director or the principal deputy director of national intelligence be an active duty commissioned officer in the armed forces or have training or experience in military intelligence activities and requirements only one of the two positions can be held by a military officer at any given time the statute does not specify what rank the commissioned officer will hold during his or her tenure in either position the dni who is appointed by the president and is subject to confirmation by the senate serves at the pleasure of the president before the dni was formally established the head of the intelligence community was the director of central intelligence who concurrently served as the director of the central intelligence agency the 9-11 commission recommended establishing the dni position in its 9-11 commission report not released until july 22 2004 as it had identified major intelligence failures that called into question how well the intelligence community was able to protect u.s interests against foreign terrorist attacks senators diane feinstein j rockefeller and bob graham introduced s 2645 on june 19 2002 to create the director of national intelligence position other similar legislation soon followed after considerable debate on the scope of the dni's powers and authorities the united states congress passed the intelligence reform and terrorism prevention act of 2004 by votes of 336 to 75 in the house of representatives and 89 to 2 in the senate president george w bush signed the bill into law on december 17 2004 among other things the law established the dni position as the designated leader of the united states intelligence community and prohibited the dni from serving as the key director or the head of any other intelligence community element at the same time in addition the law required the key director to report his agency activities to the dni critics say compromises during the bill's crafting led to the establishment of a dni whose powers are too weak to adequately lead manage and improve the performance of the intelligence community in particular the law left the united states department of defense in charge of the national security agency the first director of national intelligence was u.s ambassador to iraq john negroponte who was appointed on february 17 2005 by president george w bush subject to confirmation by the senate it was reported that President Bush's first choice for DNI was former Director of Central Intelligence Robert M. Gates, who was serving as President of Texas A&M University, but who declined the offer. Negroponte was confirmed by a Senate vote of 98-2 to 2 on April 21, 2005, and he was sworn in by President Bush the same day. On February 13, 2007, Mike McConnell became the second Director of National Intelligence after negroponte was appointed deputy secretary of state donald m kerr was confirmed by the u.s senate to be principal deputy director of national intelligence on october 4 2007 and sworn in on october 9 2007 kerr from virginia was previously the director of the national reconnaissance office and the deputy director for science and technology at the kiar before that earlier in his career he was an assistant director at the FBI, in charge of their laboratory division from 1997 to 2001.
On July 20, 2010, President Barack Obama nominated retired Air Force Lieutenant General James Clapper as the fourth DNI. Clapper was confirmed by the Senate on August 5 and replaced acting director David C. Gompert. This followed Obama's dismissal of the third DNI, retired Navy Admiral Dennis C. Blair, whose resignation became effective May 28, 2010. The fifth DNI, Dan Coates, the sixth DNI, John Ratcliffe, and acting DNIs Joseph Maguire, Richard Grenall and Laura Xiao, all served between March 16, 2017 and January 21, 2021, during the administration of President Donald Trump. The seventh and current DNI is Avril Haines, who took office on January 21, 2021, the first woman to hold the office. She was nominated by President-elect Joe Biden on November 23, 2020 and confirmed by the Senate on January 20, 2021, Declan McCullough at News.com wrote.